That's Palm Springs in the house. Palm Springs in the house. Palm Springs Dude, in the house. Loma Linda. Yeah. Loma Linda in the house. <laughs> Palm Springs in the house. <laughs> TB. I heard. Me. She's going to be doing an interview guys. Okay. okay. I heard Miguel Cotto. How does that sound to you? He's going to do an interview right here. He's going to do an interview right here. Bob Aram said Miguel Cotto. Freddie Roach said Miguel Cotto. Yeah. Um, I get off. You know, honestly, I think it's an interesting fight right now at this time. Um, everybody's one. I'm just wondering, just like everybody else, what is Manny Pacquiao doing back? You know, he, you know, he, he went out with a bang. You know, he, we, I fought him my last fight. He beat me. Um, he's gotten everything that he's ever. You know that he was thinking about. He's, yeah. he's senator now. Why is he back? What's his motivation now? You know to come back and get into the ring. Um, Jesse Vargas hey, is fighting I I at the highest level he possibly can, I believe, right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. I think he's he has supreme confidence. Uh, he has poise right now. Um, he does have ability. He does have a lot of ability. Um, and he's a world champion. So he's he's gonna fight. 30% better, I can tell you that much. He's confident going into this fight. He feels that he's the bigger guy. Uh, he feels that um, he knows how to beat Manny Pacquiao, but we have to wait and see. You know, even myself, in my last fight, I felt that, you know what, I had the right game plan, I had everything it took. I felt that if I was going to beat Manny Pacquiao that night. But, as soon as you get hit, as soon as you get hit, it, it all changes. All right, the, the game plan might veer a little bit. You know, you might be doing it. It might not work because Manny Pacquiao, when he smells blood, he's like a shark. When he smells blood, you know, he's going to get you. You know what I mean? And I think that his experience, I think that, uh, you know, everybody's saying age. He's older. He's older. That don't have anything to do with it. He, that, this guy knows how to fight. And everybody's saying, oh, you know, he's a lot of distractions. He's so busy. Yada, yada. When he gets in that ring, he knows there's a threat on the other side. It's just like second nature. It's like riding a bike. He knows how to fight. So you're saying man is winning this fight? He should. But, on the other hand, Jesse Vargas got a little trick under his sleeve. He got a trick. That right hand? He's good at it. He caught me on the button with it last round. I think it was like 10 seconds left or something like that. Um, I would have survived. I don't care what he says. <laughs> come on. I, he got robbed, yo. Come on. Whatever. You know. He, he got, got robbed. Who, it, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, um, he caught Saddam Ali, who's a great fighter. He's a good fighter. Good Saddam fighter. Ali with it. He stopped him. This is an Olympian. He stopped him. So he's fighting at the highest level, I think, right now that he possibly can. I think he has a supreme confidence. And I give him a shot if he can land that right hand. He can change the tide. He can change the tide. He could he could could get the Manny pack out and have an opportunity to beat him. Alright, thank you so much. What did you think about the win though? What was your reaction to it? Um that's that's him. That's honestly that's 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 Yo, thanks man. I saw exactly what I, what I, because I know both fighters, I've been in the ring with them, I saw exactly the same from each fighter. I saw, you know, Jesse Vargas, super highly, no matter what anybody say, super highly nervous because, you know, he's he's hooting and hollering and he's confident and all that, but he's nervous because he was that way when he fought me. But confident, as always, he's always confident, supreme confidence, he always has it. And then I just saw Manny, just... Real. <laughs> Uh -huh. You know, doing Manny. She's That's his thing. Uh -huh. That's like, Manny. Do like like from Jesse Vargas? Huh? Do you like what you saw from Jesse Vargas? And I like what I saw? Yeah, I mean, it's it's typical. You listen, stare downs don't win fights. You know? Timothy, my son. Especially at this level. My son has a question for you. Okay? Especially at this level. What's up? What's up? Roel, ask him now. Pacquiao versus Vargas. Part four. Roel. <laughs> what do you think of Pacquiao versus Vargas? Who do you think is going to win the fight? There you go. 
don't know. So you. So what's next for you, Tim? You obviously done going through the top ranks table. You got to call out some fighters if you want to fight. Come on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you do. Everybody you know you do because everybody know that I'll fight them. Everybody. <laughs> everybody know that I'll fight them. But what you say you want a belt. You, you don't want to fight for nothing but a belt, I heard. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you later. It's Barbershop Conversations. Hit the subscribe and the like button today.